Hi everyone, how's it going? My name's Madison. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. I'm kind of brain dead right now because I just got off work and I'm super hungry. So uh, I got torchies. Really excited about it. I got two tacos and queso because honestly, I mean, if you get any more than that, like, <laughs> it's not really gonna go well. <laughs> like money wise because their tacos are really expensive <laughs> i got one of their trailer park tacos and then i also got a green chili pork taco um i like both very much um i'm very excited right now even though i don't sound excited um i went to my new job today to work this is my second time working and i'm really excited because um, I already got like some great feedback like they were already surprised at like how I was like working or whatever so that was really nice so let's see here um, okay so this is the trailer park it kind of looks crazy and they forgot to put the lettuce on here but that's okay um, so let's go ahead and get into this um, here's this queso. Ah, I guess I'll do, I'll make that. I'm like sitting in the most, like, <laughs> like kind of a public spot still, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so the trailer park is a piece of fried, like a fried chicken tender on a flour tortilla with queso, cheese, I, I add, asked them to add lettuce because if you make it trashy, it replaces the lettuce with cheese. Um, but if you make it like classy and trashy, then it's uh, supposed to um, have lettuce and queso. They just didn't put it on there. And then it comes with like this little tomato situation. I think it's pico. Yeah, it's pico. So I'm just going to put that. And get some food in my body before my brain stops working. This is like a poblano ranch. It's amazing. Amazing. If you've ever had um, Chewy's. It's really spicy today. If you've ever had Chewy's um, like jalapeno sauce, sauce or whatever. It's kind of like that. So here it is, looking very beautiful. <laughs> mm. I love this because it's super savory. Textures are good. I probably should have eaten it second, but... Cause that regular green chili pork is gonna be nothing compared to this. I just hurt my jaw, that sucks. <laughs> Ow, I can't believe I just hurt my jaw like that. Anyways, he was showing me like the numbers and stuff this morning. And he was like, this is what we're supposed to be at, like, every hour. This is what, like, everybody's at. And he was like... He's like, this is where you were at. And that's, like, really good for your first day. He was like, that's absolutely phenomenal for your first day. I'm like, cool. I cannot believe I just hurt my jaw like that. I don't know if I like popped out of place or what. Their queso is amazing. So it usually comes with guacamole in it. I didn't get it in there because I don't like it in there. And then it has this like spicy Diablo sauce in it. 
Um, it's pretty chunky with like stuff. And it has cilantro and um, cotija cheese uh, sprinkled on it. And I usually just put like a dollop of guacamole in there. I don't really understand it personally. I like guacamole, but like in queso, I don't know. So this trailer park taco is 410 regularly. If you do the trashy where you add the queso, it's 460. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, that's expensive for a taco. I mean, thankfully, you usually only need one. But I think they actually pay their workers good, so. This ranch is so good. It's also really good on their chips. I asked for an extra one, but she forgot. That's okay. Oh, there's a lady with her dog. And I forgot to turn off my notifications, so I hope nobody calls me. I usually put my phone in airplane mode um, when I'm filming. I just have a bottle of water. Okay. And then this one is the green chili pork. The sticker for the trailer park is just stuck to this one. That's not the best trailer park taco that I've had from uh, Torchies. I don't know if they like <laughs> knew I was filming, but hello, it's supposed to be the best. I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, so of the people that were, they put a lot of meat in here. So that's really nice. Um, this is the green chili pork. I think this one's like 390 or so. Um, there's a lot of dudes at the place that I work. Everybody seems really nice. I am just so happy that I'm not working with customers. No offense to the customers out there. Um, <laughs> we all are one, but yeah, so Excuse me. Hmm. And it was so funny. Um, I needed to get my account situated with Spectrum. So I called their retention department yesterday myself. And I'm like, hey, like, could you give me this and that and this? Because I couldn't do anything like before I left. I can't, you know, alter my account. Also, my favorite thing to do with the green chili pork, since they put so much meat, is take a chip with cheese on it and then put some of the pork. So good. Anyway, so I got all the things that I needed. Um... Whoever you have your internet with, call and see if you are in an ACP approved area. Because if you are, then you can get up to $30 off your internet without needing to like pay it back or anything. It's a government stimulus program. Highly recommend. I'm in an area, so I went ahead and signed up for it. It's just a credit that goes on your bill. 
and as long as you keep your bill up to date like no delinquency then it takes that off it was called ebb and it was fifty dollars um but they just changed it it's not just a spectrum thing like it's just like a cable provider thing um I think that cable providers can choose whether or not they want to participate in it. So just see if they have it available. And I got the full thing of queso, which is I think $6.95 because I'm going to make Brandon some food with it tomorrow. He loves this shit in eggs. Anyways, so the job, um, I finally was able to, like, I wore some pants today that I could actually keep my phone in. The first time I didn't wear pants that I could keep my phone in um, because they were too loose. Uh, I got 14,500 steps today at work, so loving that for me I um, went to my therapist again yesterday I noticed that she does this thing where it kind of looks like she's going to sleep but I don't know if it's because she's like Like if that's just her face or because I don't when I'm like talking about my um, like what I'm talking about. I'm not really um, like looking at her usually because for me when I'm talking about like a story or something usually I'm like looking away so I can kind of picture the story in my head. Like especially when it's like it's like memories and stuff. It's easier for me to like picture it um, in, in my head if I'm doing that. See, there's still so much meat in here. All right. So this one normally comes with, it actually normally comes on a corn tortilla. Um, the thing about torchies is that you can, it has a suggestion of like which tortilla it comes on already. Um, but you can change it if you want to. So the reason that I don't like the corn tortilla for the pork, even though usually I would get a corn tortilla for pork, is that their corn tortillas are disgusting. They are super thick, and I don't like them. And they, even though they're thick, they still double them up. Mm -mm. I will eat a corn tortilla if it's a really fresh, um, like thin corn tortilla, or like a fried corn tortilla, chips, whatever. Um, but the really thick ones, I would just rather have a a flour tortilla. I'm not trying to prove anything to anyone. <laughs> Still super thick. And I don't remember how much of what, like how much of the job I told you guys about in the other video, so I'm just going to explain again what it is. It's working in a warehouse, four days a week, full time. Um, it's just like making pallets of different boxes um, that are like medical supplies and they go to like different hospitals in the city. It's so fun. The only thing I don't like is that some people will like get stuff out of boxes and then leave the box like right in front of the this stuff is like on pallets, like in a warehouse kind of setting. And so they'll like pull a box down get stuff out and like leave it right there. Or whoever's like organizing <laughs> that area will like leave stuff in front of it. And it's like, 
a lot of the times we're both going down the aisle, like two people are going down the aisle at the same time. And it's kind of hard with two people with pallet jacks and pallets like going down the aisle. So it, it would be better if people just really made sure that there was like nothing, especially when there's usually like pieces of pallets like in the aisle and stuff. Like we clean it, but you know, stuff just happens throughout the day, like stuff breaks, whatever. If, if more people did like a clean as you go, it would be better, but a lot of people aren't like that at jobs. I'm not always like that at my apartment, but I'm always like that at jobs. More so because I like care about what other people are going to go through. I don't know why this pork tastes a little bit different today. Um, I can't just like put my finger on it. Maybe it needs salt or something. I'm not really sure. Um there's definitely something off. Maybe it's the salsa. No, it's the pork. I'll put a little bit more salsa. I've also had um, their Democrat, uh, the Crossroads taco. Um, and the crossroads, I believe, is the brisket. And I think the Democrat is the barbacoa. It could be opposite. I always get those confused. It's obviously uh, becoming dark outside. <laughs> I have based towards the light as much as possible. But. Fuck it. <laughs> I just have a little bit left anyway. One thing that sucks is that my feet are like not wanting to um, like participate in working for like so long on them. I ended up wearing compression socks. Um, after work the first day and then I wore compression socks to work today. It seemed to help But Fridays are also lighter So I'm not really sure if it um, was just like a coincidence or not That was the last bite of the actual taco. I'm just gonna eat this meat that's in here. Um, But yeah, so the first day, like, when I was like, um, I had like two hours left of the shift. And it was like getting hard to walk because it was just like so painful. Like, I think they were just like swollen. And I already use shoes that are like bigger to allow for swelling. It's, I have those Brooks shoes um, that I used whenever I was at Amazon. I might just need a new pair, honestly, because uh, I already had them for like two years now. And I mean, shoes definitely break down, so it might be time. And um, with the uh, fetch package delivery thing that I was doing, I got uh, paid from that today. It's regular like $15 an hour, but sometimes they do like surges where it's like between 30 to like $45 an hour, extra, like just like that's what you make. So for 16 hours of work, which I didn't even work 16 hours because you sign up for like um, the shift, it could be two hours. If you get done in one hour, you still get paid for both. Um, and so I, I averaged, for 16 hours, I averaged $27 an hour. So that was pretty cool. And it was kind of like, you know, a workout like before I started working here. Um, I'm really full, so I'm gonna take one more bite uh, with queso, or queso. Um, <laughs> This queso is so good.
anyway so yeah i really like that i wanted to do it today um for the six to eight uh time frame because they were surging at forty dollars an hour but i couldn't get myself to do it because i'm pretty tired and i want to give myself just a little bit of a break i might go do doordash right now get a little bit of money um the cost of this food was like sixteen dollars it's pretty high but like i said i think that they pay their workers well so that's you know it kind of helps um the sun has officially vanished um if you got this far i really appreciate it thank you so much for watching uh if you like torchies let me know what you uh what you usually get if you never had torchies look at their menu online what would you get um and yeah if you have anything nice to say write down below Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.